Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add the mouse follower effect to your Blogger website. So here we can see we have this element that follows the mouse. And if I hover over this heading, we can see that we have this text displayed over here. And uh, if you hover over this text over here, we have an image displayed over here. Now I have shown you how to design all of this in the previous video. And we had used a library called mouse follower. So if you want to learn how we design this, you can watch that previous video. I will leave the link in the description of this video. And I will also leave the link of the source code. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add this effect to your blogger website. So let's get started. Right here, I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, create a post. You can add it inside a post or a page. So if you want to add a page, you can just go over here to pages and create a new page. I'll just create a post. So let's click on new post. And here I'll just add a title. So I'll just type mouse follower effect. And the first thing you need to do is uh, go into the HTML view. So if it is in the compose view, just click on this button and click on HTML view. Now here you can add the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So first of all, let's add the CSS. So I'll just create a style tag over here. And let's go to our source code. And let's go to the style.css file and let's copy everything from here from this line of code dot container till the end and let's copy everything and paste it over here inside the style tag and now let's add the html and javascript so let's go back to our source code and let's go to the index.html file and uh, let's copy everything inside the body so let's start from here till uh, here till the end of the script tag and let's copy everything and paste it over here. Now if you go back here, we can see these are all the content of our design. Now you can go ahead and change these to whatever you want. You can change the heading over here and you can change the content. And this is the hover text. And if you go back here, we can see that we have this text displayed over here called welcome. Now to change that, you can just change it over here. Data cursor text. Right now, the next thing we need to do is copy these links. Now we need these links for the mouse follower library. So let's copy all of this from here and let's paste it over here just outside the style tag. All right now let's publish this and let's see how it looks. So let's click on confirm. And here we can see our post has been published. So let's click on view. And here we can see we have the mouse follower effect. And if you hover over this uh, heading, we can see that welcome is displayed over here. And if you hover over this text, we can see that the image is displayed over here. So everything is working all right. Now we have some problems in the styling. Now we have set a fixed width for this content. So that's why we can see that this text is going outside this container. And we also have this welcome text displayed in two lines. So we need to fix that as well. And we also need to change the color of this uh, background circle. And there are other things you can do to make it look just like this. You can just change the font and the color of the text over here. So let's go back to our post. And here for the container, I'll just set the max width to 700. So it will have a flexible width, but it won't go past 700 pixels. And let's also set the color of the text to black. And I think we already may have some element with the class of container. So let's change this to my container. And let's also change this class over here. So let's change this to my container so that we have a unique class. All right, let's save it. All right now, let's go back to our post and now we can see we have the correct width. Now let's also change the color of this uh, circle. And we also want to display this text in a single line. So let's right click over here and click on inspect. And if you scroll down here, we can see we have this uh, division with the class of MF cursor. So this is actually the cursor that we see, which follows our mouse. And if you go inside this division, and if you go inside this MF cursor inner division, here we can see there are two divisions. One is for the media and the other is for cursor text. So let's select this and let's see whether there are any styles added by the theme. So let's scroll down. And here we can see for the body, we have a style word break and it is set to break word. So let's change this. Let's change this to normal. And now if you hover over this, 
we can see that the text is in a single line now let's also change the background color so let's select this uh, mf cursor division and if you scroll down here we can see that the library has set the background color to current color so let's copy this selector and let's go back to our post and let's paste it over here now here for it to work you have to actually change the color so let's change it to black and then we have this mf cursor text and let's copy this selector and let's paste it over here and here we had set the word break to normal right now let's update this and let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page and now we can see we have the correct background color and the text is in one single line so everything is working all right now if you want to add this follower effect to your whole website then you have to add this code inside your theme editor so let's go back to our dashboard and let's go to theme and uh, let's click on this arrow and click on edit html and here you have to add the html css and javascript i'll just show you how to do that real quick so let's go back to our source code and let's copy all these links and let's paste it over here in the head section right now we need to add the javascript so if you go back to our source code here we can see this is the script now you don't need to copy this html because this was needed for this design that we created over here but since we want to add this effect to the whole website we'll just copy this script from here and let's go back and paste it over here inside our theme code so let's go to the end and here just before the body ends let's paste the script right now let's click on save and let's go back to our website and let's go to the home page and here we can see we have this mouse follower let's also change the color so let's go back to our theme code and we need to go to the css so here just before the b skin ends let's add the css so just like we did for the post we need to add the color so let's go back to our post and let's scroll down and let's copy this uh, mf cursor before and mf cursor text and let's paste it over here and now if we go back to our website and if we go into the mouse follower effect post and if we right click over here and click on inspect and if you go to the console here we can see we have this error which says identifier cursor already declared so for that you have to go back to your post and uh, here you have to delete the script because uh, this script is already added to our theme so let's delete this and let's update and now if you go back to our post and if you refresh this page and uh, let's right click over here and go to inspect and now we can see we don't have any errors all right let's go back to our theme code and uh, let's save it and now let's go back to our website and uh, let's go to the home page and here we can see for the home page also we have this uh, mouse follower effect let's go to any of these posts and even for this page we have this mouse follower effect so that's basically how you can add mouse follower effect to your blogger websites Alright, so that's it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code and also the design video in the description of this video. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.